بسم اللہ الحمد للہ و صلاحت و سلام علیہ رسول اللہ انڈرسٹینڈ قرآن اینڈ صلاح دا ایزی وے لیسن نمبر ون ڈیش ون تھرو دس وی ول لرن فائیو ورڈس وچ اکر ان دا قرآن آلموسٹ ٹوینٹی سیون ہنڈریڈ ٹائمس سو لیٹ از لرن اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم آئی سیک ریفیوج ان اللہ فرام شیطان دا آؤٹ کاسٹ اعوذ آئی سیک ریفیوج میننگ آئی سیک پروٹیکشن سیفٹی فرسٹ بکل اپ گیٹ پروٹیکشن دیٹس واٹ اللہ اسفان تعالیٰ از ٹیچنگ اس بلا ہی از میڈ اپ آف ٹو ورڈس بی اللہ ان اللہ اللہ از دا اوریجنل نیم آف اللہ دا ریسٹ لائک الکریم الرحیم اور ہز ایٹریبیوٹس وین اٹس کولڈ وی ٹرائی ٹو پروٹیکٹ آور سیلف وتھ وام کلوتھس سو دیٹ ایئر ڈز ناٹ اٹیک از فرام اینی سائڈ اعوذ باللہ مینس او اللہ آئی وانٹ پروٹیکشن Min is from a shaitan made up of two words al shaitan the shaitan plural of shaitan is shayateen and both of these occur in the quran 88 times ar rajim made up of two words al rajim the outcast how will you remember the meaning of ar rajim do you think shaitan is close to allah never he is outcast rejected thrown away from Allah's mercy. Therefore, the meaning of Ar-Rajim is outcast. Whenever you recite the Quran, try to imagine the background. Who is Shaitan? Our biggest, most dangerous enemy. He has huge experience of making people slip from the time of Adam alayhi salam. He made even Adam alayhi salam slip. So none of us can be smarter than Adam alayhi salam. And on the top of that, Shaitan has told Allah that he will attack us from the right, the left, the front and the back. And all of us have a Shaitan with us who is an evil jinn. We cannot hit Shaitan, nor kill him, nor convince him to become good. So the first thing is feel seriously that you need protection. You are unsafe. Ar-Rajim. Why is Ar-Rajim mentioned here? Why not just A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan? so that we always keep his status alive in our mind. This regime wants us to follow him and become like him, the outcast. But Allah gave us the powerful weapon. Say, A'udhu Billah, and we get protection. A'udhu Billah covers us from all sides, wraps us in protection. Plan to recite it before reading the Quran. Why? He may divert our attention while reciting or listening to it, especially in Salah. If we don't get live hidayah or guidance from the Quran, then shaitan has succeeded. Shaitan runs away from the Quran itself. Even then Allah asked us to seek his protection before reciting it. So how about when we are in the market, on the internet, etc. Make it a habit to repeat it every time you sense the danger. Recite it with feelings that you are extremely unsafe and desperate to get the protection. Recite it with sincere begging. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem.